Suppose you'd like to start a new project. Usually you'd draw up a plan, make a schedule, find a project manager, hold endless meetings, and ultimately just hope you don't stumble before you reach the finish line. But what does that usually deliver? Everything's more expensive than expected. You stress about your deadline. The end result could have been better and energy has drained from your team. These problems are solved with Scrum. With Scrum, you write fewer plans and you do more. In short cycles, we call sprints. You don't work on separate islands, but as one dedicated team. Instead of working on a project with a distant deadline, you constantly deliver functioning products. You don't use final evaluations, but you receive continuous feedback. Scrum is a flexible way of working in a rapidly changing world. It's frequently used in IT projects, so many of the websites you visit or apps you use were made using Scrum. This way of working is used more and more. Scrum was recently used to build a large new bridge, but it can also be used to develop new products, compile budgets and annual reports, organize events in your town, or even to set up a completely new company. How does Scrum work? Let's use the marketing campaign for a new car as an example. In the first week, you take action right away. You share a glimpse of your design through social media. The feedback you receive will be used in week two. You attract media attention, which leads to new feedback for making improvements. We call these weeks sprints, which are actually mini projects that each produce their own specific results. Instead of knowing exactly where you want to end up, you take a step-by-step -step approach as you work towards your final ambition, like the successful launch of a new car. A Scrum team has stand-up meetings, works transparently, feels a joint responsibility, is aware of the progress made every day, and has results to celebrate after each sprint. Scrum has three roles. First, the product owner, the key stakeholder with a vision who provides direction to the team for each sprint. Then there are team members, five to nine professionals in various disciplines who are jointly responsible for the results. The Scrum Master, a facilitator who focuses completely on the process. Then there are Scrum Lists. The product backlog in which you list your ambitions and express how you intend to achieve them. The Sprint Backlog, the shopping list of products you want to produce in the next sprint. The definition of done indicates precisely what needs to be done by the end of the sprint. And the scrum board. This shows all of the team members' tasks, which will change from to do, to busy, to done during a sprint. Then there are four meetings. First, the sprint planning meeting. What exactly are we going to achieve during this sprint and who's doing what? Next, the stand up. Is everything going according to plan? And are we going to make it? The third meeting is the review, during which you deliver your results and receive feedback. The last meeting is the retrospective. You look back on the process and reflect on what you can improve as a team for the next sprint. Scrum is a powerful way of working that provides speed and energy. Maybe something for your organization too?